I'm starting off with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color sand. I'm going to apply it with the Sedona Lace 928 brush. Next to brighten up underneath my eyes, I'm taking the Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the color Medium Golden and just swiping this under my eyes and on my chin. I want to make sure that concealer stays put so I'm taking the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and applying that with a damp beauty blender. I'm going to move on to the eyes, but I want to prep my lids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This will make your shadow last longer and it will also prevent creasing. I wanted to start off with a matte mid-tone brown and this one is Latte from Makeup Geek. And I'm just using this color as a transition color and I'm applying it with an eye defining brush from Bare Minerals. Time to add some color. This is the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania Lilac Pearl Pigment and I'm just packing this on my lower lid underneath my crease. The next color is the Ultra Pearl Mania in the color Purple Pearl and I'm going to apply this near my brows with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I wanted to add a pop of blue in some random places, so this is Space Pearl and I'm just going to do circular motions with a fluffy eyeshadow brush around the brow. Now I'm going to create a lot of lines and different shapes around my eye area to make this look a little bit more futuristic, so I'm going to apply the e.l.f. Studio Cream Eyeliner in the color black with just a very thin angled brush. In the inner corner of my eye, I decided to create more of a triangle shape. It's easier to outline it first with an angled eyeliner brush and then I'm actually going to go back with a lip brush and fill it in with more of that gel eyeliner. I didn't really know where I was going to take this look, but I decided to add a couple lines here and there. Then I took that black eyeliner and lined underneath my lower lashes and it doesn't have to be neat and tidy, we're going to smudge it out with an eyeshadow after. Now I'm taking Corrupt Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I'm going to smudge this underneath my lower lash line to blend out that black liner and I'm just taking a pencil brush to do this. I wanted it to be really smoky and dark underneath my eyes, so I just extend that shadow. Now I'm going to apply a couple coats of my favorite mascara from Bare Minerals, and this is the Falls Definition Mascara in black.
Of course, I had to add a pair of falsies, and these are the Cocoa Lashes in the style of Foxy. And you can also apply spiky lashes too. I think that would look really cool. I was feeling a little pale, so I want to add some bronzer. This is from Buxom. It's their Hot Escapes bronzer, and I'm just applying this with the Blooming Blush Brush from Bare Minerals. Then I went back in my cheekbones for a little extra contour. I applied a little foundation on my lips just to get rid of my natural lip color because we're gonna use a colored lipstick, but I'm not gonna apply it all over the lips. This is LA Girl's Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick in the color Blue Valentine, and I'm going to apply this on my lips for a pop of bold color. For the center of my bottom lip, I'm just going to press this lipstick in my lips and leave the outer corners bare so it kind of fades out. Then I decided to press some of that blue pigment from NYX that we used earlier on the lips just for a more of a metallic finish. I wanted to create some shadow and depth around my lips so I just used a black eyeshadow and focused this right underneath my lower lip and then I'm going to apply it right above my cupid's bow for a darker shadow. Then I applied a black lipstick from LA Girl called Raven right in the center of my lips and down the center just so my lips look a little fuller and it created kind of a cool shadow. Now I'm going to add more black shadow in the hollows of my cheeks just for a stronger contour. I wanted to incorporate more of that purple, so I applied it right above that strong contour with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is optional, but I decided to go back on my forehead and add a little bit more shading just to create more dimension and to make this look a little bit more interesting if it's not already. Now I'm applying a new highlighter from Ofra and this is called You Glow Girl and I'm basically going to put this all over my face for just an intense glow. So on my cheekbones, you can put it down the bridge of your nose, Cupid's bow, anywhere we want a little highlight. Alright you guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this futuristic look and I'll see you guys in the next video.